Equity represents ownership in an entity. Companies are often structured where one company has an ownership interest in another company. The level of ownership determines the appropriate accounting treatment necessary to recognize the investment. There are three methods to recognize equity investments in another entity. The three methods are the cost method, the equity method, and the consolidation method. In accordance with GAAP, the differences between these three methods are based on the percentage of influence or control that an entity exercises over another entity by virtue of its ownership interest. If the level of ownership and influence is not significant, understood at less than 20% of the investee's outstanding stock, then the investment is accounted for using the cost method. In these situations, the investment is first recorded at cost and then carried a fair value. Therefore, if the value of the investment increases or decreases, the investment will be written up or down on the balance sheet to reflect fair value. For example, Lucky Corporation purchases 10% of Money Corporation for $1 million on January 1, 2018. At the end of the year 2018, Money Corporation announces it will be paying out a dividend of $20,000 to its shareholders. The initial purchase and subsequent dividend are recognized with a journal entry on the books of Lucky Corporation. This entry recognizes a current asset called trading securities recorded at cost as well as an outflow of cash. The year-end dividend would be recognized as well. Since the $20,000 was paid to all investors and Lucky Corporation is a 10% investor, Lucky Corporation is entitled to 10% of the total dividend, which is $2,000. Suppose that the $1 million stock investment is appreciated by 5% at the end of 2019. This fluctuation is recorded as unrealized gain on trading securities, which is included in earnings on the income statement, and then with the corresponding increase to the carrying amount of the trading securities on the balance sheet. Suppose that on January 31, 2020, Lucky Corporation sells its stock investment for $1,125,000 on the open market. The first step is to record the receipt of cash of $1,125,000. The next step is to remove the investment from the books. The remaining amount is the gain on the sale. Note that the actual gain is $125,000 because the investment was initially purchased for $1 million. However, $50,000 was already included in earnings when the investment was written up to its fair value. If the level of ownership and influence between an investor and investee is significant but does not amount to control, this is understood as more than 20% but less than 50%, then the investment is accounted using the equity method. In this method, profits or losses of the investee company are recorded in the investor company's income statement. The amount of profit or loss that is incorporated and recorded is based on the ownership percentage. For example, Ace Company buys 30% of Bay Company's common stock for $50,000 on January 1, 2018. This ownership percentage meets the threshold for the equity method. Ace Company first makes a journal entry to record the purchase. On April 10th, Bay Company declares first quarter earnings of $10,000. Under the equity method, earnings of the investee company are considered to be owned in part by the investor. Thus, Ace Company would recognize its share, 30% of the income in the affiliate, or $3,000. In contrast to the cost method, the investment asset in the equity method is written up to reflect earnings, but not changes in market value. Note that Ace Company recognized this proportionate amount of net income, regardless of whether Bay Company pays dividends. Now assume that Bay Company declares a dividend of $5,000 on April 30th. Under the equity method, dividends received are considered a return of invested capital and thus reduce the investment account. Ace Company would recognize its share, 30% of $5,000 or $1,500. This reduces the investment in affiliate account with a credit of $1,500. Suppose that Ace Company sells its investment for $48,000 on June 1st, 2018. 
The first step is to record the receipt of cash and then remove the investment in the affiliate account at whatever balance it currently stands. If the entries result in a debit shortage, dead debit represents the loss on the sale of the investment. If the entries result in a credit shortage, that credit represents the gain on the sale of the investment. If the level of ownership and influence between an investor and investee amounts to control that is understood as more than 50%, then the investment is accounted for using the consolidation method. A consolidation occurs when two or more independent businesses form a business combination from an accounting standpoint. The result of a consolidation is that the two companies report financial activities together on a single set of financial statements, known as consolidated financial statements. In consolidated financial statements, the companies combine their income statements, balance sheets, and statements of cash flows as one single accounting entity. The basic idea of consolidation is straightforward, but the accounting practice can be complicated. The data control is the date of acquisition, and a market price is established for the entire purchase. Specific assets and liabilities are identified. If there is a difference, such as the acquisition price exceeding identifiable net assets, an intangible asset known as goodwill is created to fill in for the excess price. The acquisition of stock is not carried as an investment asset, as it is in the cost method or the equity method. Rather, revenues and expenses of both companies are reported together after control is established. Prior to control, each entity reports separately.